Hi everyone. Well, before we get to the main forecast, I thought I'd let you know that, um, well, the reason we're late this evening is that we've got some access to a lot more data than what we used to have. Um, some very high resolution data, in fact, which allows us to pinpoint localised weather events down to, well, almost down to really half a mile. Um, so yeah, this, this, this data is very technical and there's a lot of it to go through when producing these forecasts um, but hopefully we'll we'll get the hang of it over the coming over the coming weeks but um for the time being this is tonight now this is also something else we've got access to at the moment um, what this is it looks like a, a, a rather dodgy child's drawing really what it is it's showing the the weather uh, the uh, synoptic chart with the uh, weather fronts um, so the the purple lines are occluded fronts the uh, the red lines are warm fronts and the blue lines are cold fronts. Now, what you find is the winds around these areas of low pressure tend to go and well, they, they go anti-clockwise. Now, you find that these fronts tend to tend to really drift along with the flow of wind. Um, so you can see these fronts here are moving west to east or southwest to northeast. And this front here has brought quite a bit of rain. Well, both these fronts have really. But as this front's moved through, we've got some cloud and drizzle now, um, and it's a lot warmer because this behind this front, the air is a lot warmer, and this is called a warm sector. This this little slice here between this warm and cold front. But uh, over the next uh, over the next uh, 12 to 24 hours, the warm sector will move through, and we'll be backing back inside some uh, some somewhat cooler air once again. So this is for tonight cloud, a little bit of rain, a little bit of drizzle. We've got a strong uh, westerly wind at the moment and uh, as we head into the second half of the night the winds start to, to uh, veer around to the west-northwest slightly um, but they'll decrease back to fresh and we'll be seeing gusts closer to 25 maybe 30 mile an hour for a time but they'll be get, gradually getting lighter um, but during the second half of the night some further rain or uh, drizzle will be start to move in across the island but the temperatures will drop very very slightly as we head through the second half of the night tomorrow morning we've got quite a lot of cloud around to start the day now there is going to be some rain around but we're not sure how far north it's going to be moving it may stay in the channel it does look likely that we will have some over our area um, but like I said this will be mostly in the morning um, and the winds at this point will be fresher from the west northwest as we head through into the afternoon uh, we start to see the rain moving away there could still be a bit of cloud in a f over the, the hills and in, in a few places possibly with the odd patch of drizzle moving through here and there as well but um, there will also be some brighter spells uh, developing pretty much anywhere but most likely in central and eastern parts of the island the temperatures will be pretty mild still 10 11 degrees celsius and uh, so yeah it's not too bad tomorrow afternoon but it will be starting off a, a little bit dodgy in the morning um, that's all for the moment anyway we'll give you more uh, updates over the next 24 hours 48 hours um, and hopefully we'll be able to integrate some of this new data into the forecast that's all for now goodbye